So you may have heard before, there's this really common trick that'll let you tell if a number is divisible by three or not. And basically what you do is you add up the digits and you check if the digits is divisible by three. If you haven't heard of it before, we'll give an example here in just a second. But the question more I wanna deal with with this video is why does that trick work? It seems very weird and what's special about three? So let's start looking at an example first. So say you take the number 7,251 and you wanna know if it's divisible by three or not. Well, what the trick says is just take all the digits, seven, two, five, and one, and add them up. And here that gives us 15. And it says if that number is divisible by three, then so is the original number. And here, yes, seven plus two plus five plus one gives us 15, which is divisible by three. So that means the original number is as well. If you want, you can grab your calculator right now and check that. And something else interesting about this is in general, if you take another number like seven or four or 13, and you try this same trick, like you add up the digits and check if they're divisible by four or whatever, you see the trick doesn't work for other numbers. So I think we all agree 49 definitely is divisible by seven, but if you add up the digits, you get 13, which is not divisible by seven. So that's a quick example showing that it doesn't work in general if you just replace three with another number. So the most important question I wanna answer with this video is why? Why does it work for three? Why does it not work for other numbers? So let's just dive into it. So let's go ahead and start by taking the example we gave at the beginning of this, 7,251. Okay, so the trick says something about you wanna add up the digits, add up the seven and the two and the five and the one. The problem is when you look at a number like we have written here, 7,251, here, the seven doesn't really mean seven, right? The seven signifies 7,000. The two doesn't mean two, it means 200 and so forth. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna rewrite this number so that the seven actually means seven and the two actually means two and so forth. So one way we can do that is we can say, okay, let's split it out. Instead of the seven meaning 1,000, let's write it as seven times 1,000, right? That's what that seven on the left means. The two really means two times 100. The five means five times 10. And here the one does just mean one. Okay, so this is a little better because on the right, again, the seven on the right actually means seven now. The two means two, the five means five, the one means one. Okay, so this is a start. Um, but the trick said we want to take the digits and add them up, right? Seven plus two plus five plus one. I don't have that yet on the right, but why don't I just do it? Why don't I just say, okay, I'm gonna take the thing that I know the trick is going to want, seven plus two plus five plus one, and then I'll just go ahead and see whatever's left over, right? Whatever's my remainder. So what is my remainder? Well, let's check, right? Above, how many sevens did I have? I had 1,000 of them. I've already used up one of my sevens, that means I have 999 of them left. And you can double check real quick, this is doing what you want. If you take seven plus seven times 999, right, you can factor out the seven, you get one plus 999, which is of course the same as seven times 1000. Okay, so let's keep going. So for the two, again, we had 100 twos, we've used one of them. That means there's 99 twos left. For the five, we had 10 of them, we've used one of them, and we only had a single one and we used it. So there we go, we're done. Okay, so this is a little better in that I've got that thing I'm interested in, seven plus two plus five plus one. Um, but before we go any further, I want us to stop for a second and think. You know, when I say that the number is divisible by three, what do you think about when you think of a number being divisible by something? Probably for a lot of us, what we think is, well, if I get my calculator or if I do long division and I do the division, I'll be left with a whole number, right? And that's certainly true. But I wanna think about a, just a slightly different way. Another way of saying that it's divisible by something is the same as saying you can factor it out, right? If I'm saying 7,251 is divisible by three, that's the same as saying 7,251 equals three times some whole number. So that's what I wanna to get to, right? I wanna be able to take on the right three times a whole number. So let's do a little bit of basic algebra and see what we can get. So first, I'm gonna go ahead and add up these digits just because that's nice and easy, right? That gives me 15. 
And the rest, I'm going to go ahead and just leave that like it is for right now. So let's go ahead and look at the remainder first, right? We said we want to be able to factor a 3 out. So can I factor a 3 out of the remainder? Yes, I can, right? Because everything is multiplied by either 9 or 99 or 999. I think it's obvious if I picked an even bigger number to start with, then I would have 9999 and so forth. So I can definitely take a 3 out of this remainder. And I would be left with 7 times 333, 2 times 33, and 5 times 3. OK, so what about on the left? Can I take a 3 out of 15? Right? Another way of saying, can I factor a 3 out of 15, is saying, when I added up those digits, are they divisible by 3? And it is in this case, right? 15 is 3 times 5. So that means I can factor out a 3. I get the 5 left over, and then all of this big thing left over from my remainder. OK, so again, let's look. What does this mean? Right? I factored out a 3. I think we can all agree the stuff inside the parentheses is a whole number. right? It's a bunch of whole numbers multiplied and added together, so it's also a whole number. So that means the thing on the left, 7,251, is divisible by 3. So what did we do? We actually just finished this whole problem. So let's look back, right? We took the original number. We wrote it out in a way where we could easily pull out each of the digits. And then we did that and we added the digits together. And that left us also with the remainder. That remainder is always divisible by 3 because you always just have a whole bunch of 9s there and you can pull a 3 out of that. So to check if you can pull a factor a 3 out of the right side, really the only part you're worried about is where you're adding up the digits. So that's why the trick works. If those digits you add up are divisible by 3, if you can factor out a 3, then you can factor a 3 out of the whole right-hand side, which means the original number is divisible by 3. So let's go ahead and do another quick example where this doesn't work, right? Where the number is not divisible by 3, and we'll give an example with that. So let's take 149. Again, if you take your calculator and you check that, you'll see that is not divisible by 3. But let's try the same thing. So the 1 here means 1 times 100, the 4 means 4 times 10, and the 9 just means a 9. I said I want to take the digits and add them up, but that's going to go ahead and leave me again with a remainder. And what is my remainder? Well, how many 1s do I have left? I have 99 of them. How many 4s? I have 9 of them, and I already used up my 9 at the end. So can I take a 3 out of the remainder? Yes, absolutely, right? Because again, I've got the 99, which 3 goes into, and I've got the 9, which 3 goes into. What about this original part, right? 1 plus 4 is 5, plus 9 gives me 14. Can I take a 3 out of this? No, I cannot, right? 14 is not equal to 3 times a whole number. In fact, if you take your calculator, what you'll see is 14 is 3 times 4.666, right? 6 repeating. So because I couldn't factor a 3 out of the 14, remember I couldn't factor a 3 when I added up the digits, that means I can't factor a 3 out of the right-hand side, so the original number is not divisible by 3. So that explains why this trick works for 3. Now, if you remember, back earlier, I actually wrote on a slide that this does not work for most other numbers. There actually is another number besides 3 that this works for. I'm not going to say it here. I want you to see if you can figure out what it is. If you think you've got it, go ahead and leave it in the comment below. And for bonus points, give a little explanation about why that's the case, why it works for that number. The other thing I want to challenge you to think about is, you know, this trick said you do 1 plus 4 plus 9, right? You add up the digits, and you check if that is divisible by 3. And we said that only works for 3 and one other number. But why does the trick have to be adding up the digits? Why can't the trick be adding up twice the digits, right? Doubling them, adding them up. Or maybe taking the first digit and subtracting the second one and adding the third and subtracting the fourth. You know, why can't it be something more complicated? So my suggestion is, if you want an interesting challenge problem, try to see if you can come up with some trick that lets you check for divisibility by another number, right? Maybe by 7 or by 6 or by 13 or something else. If you make some progress, let us know in the comments there, and we'll check it out together. All right, everyone. That's the video for today. Hope you have a good one. I'll talk to you later.